word. Very simple, it's clean, but no, it's not. <laughs> but it's easy to get around. That's the only place in Canada you get a fresh cut. Look at that. Fresh cut just like that. And a month without a sound to the same building. <laughs> like masturbating. I hate masturbating. I don't even, I think it's stupid. I think it's the worst shit in the world. It lets you know that you didn't get pussy. That's all that lets you, when you look in the sky for a guy, there's no dude in here pumped to masturbate. There's no man leaving a party at night like, bro, I gotta go. I gotta go home. I got Lionel Richie music. I got fucking candles everywhere. Nobody, I masturbate like I missed the bus. Angry as fuck. Hating my life every night. And then one time I made eye contact with a mirror. I'm like, whoa. I saw my face, I looked like a gargoyle. I was like, ah! And then I left the US, but I hit the fucking security, it's so rude. Took a flight to Illinois, this big nasty guard comes up to me, he's like, where are you going? Chicago. For what? Stand up comedy. Are you a comedian? Yeah. Say something funny. You're good looking. <laughs> so I never made it to Chicago. I like watching different shows in different countries. You ever see that show called Dirty Jobs? Yeah, I saw that show in Mexico, just called Jobs. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I was growing up as a kid, I used to say to myself, I've got a job I'm going to do. You know, what, what, what am I capable of doing? Like, what can I do? So I remember going out with my parents and we would look around for, you know, uh, deals. Because my mother's Italian and she's talking coupons all the time. <laughs> well, one day we were in a coffee shop and I overheard these guys talking about this new job, this job at the end of the rainbow, you know, with a big pot of gold. You get this, you set for life. And I swear to God, it did happen to me. It was called gold. <laughs> But then as I got older, I started to drive, and I started to go around town, and I started to like see other people working in the workforce, and being employed. My stepfather, who works 14 hours a day, said he's Scottish. <laughs> but as I was looking around and seeing guys work, I said, now there's a job I'd like to do. And it was amazing, this job, because all you had to do was lean on a shovel and watch one guy work. <laughs> I think they call that uh, work for the city. <laughs> And judging by the rules, I think they got some work to do.